after 1975, the communists come to uh, the South Vietnam. Because my family is Chinese background, uh, a Chinese born in Vietnam. So my father decides uh, we have to leave the country because the company rules is no good for us. So my father was very scared because most of my father's friends always the company come and get them to the jail. So my father asked we have to out the country. Our family, the first family leave, run out of a country on that city, the Kogatya, the first one, after company take over the country. Yep. So we have to wait quiet because during that time when you run, then saw that the Navy ship, they open fire with you. Yep, that's a rule. So we know very danger for our family. So we don't get anyone involved. We leave late afternoon, night time we are turned off all the light on the boat. And uh, I tell all my sister brother, stay inside the bunker, inside the boat. On the round side, we have the sandbag, I'm thinking around side. So when they shoot, we're still more safe. Everyone fighting. Uh, scared. No one knows what happened. But only for the 10 hours, that 10 hours is danger hour, in that 10 hours. Yeah, but after that, we go, next morning, we already in national uh, water, so being safe already. After we arrived in Sarawak, I mean the East Malaysia in Kuching, I make them feel comfortable now. The government really helpful, people really friendly. The government said, I can't accept you stay here because during the government rule, not upset refugees. But we can help you what you need because uh, my boat is uh, leaking water. We need something to fix the boat. I said, no problem. We fix for you for free. We don't charge you. The ship, Australia ship there too. So we dock together, neck together, and uh, my brother always go talking with the captain. So captain tell my brother, sir, where you want to go? My brother said, we want to go to Graham. So, no, you can't make it, you be sink, you be die on the sea, Pacific Ocean. So, so my brother said, what, what I can do? So, go to Australia. So the ship captain explained to my brother, Said because during the Commonwealth rule, the marine time, the old marine time, the Australia, you have to accept any ship, any boat, arrive the country, they, they have to accept them. Yep. So we change the mind from there, and we go to Australia. And the ship captain, they keep out the, uh, the real, uh, real map, uh, but, but to the, the map to the team or each team or only. That's it. The, after there is a good luck for you. <laughs> but the ship captain said, after Timor to Darwin, no farther. So no many island, no many rocks are okay for you. Uh, first, because we arrived in Darwin on in this uh, evening, sunset already, start, start sunset. So when we more close, it's the dark at night. We only can see the street light only. So we see, oh, so big, because street light in Darwin is a small city, but that wide area, which like, look like a big city. Uh, the, oh, it's a big city. But during the early in the morning, the sunrise, I guess, oh, nothing. So if I can run, can't see any boat, nobody on the harbor, no one. So we're driving around for two hours to looking where the wolf. <laughs> so after we, we saw that, and uh, it's long time already. So first thing we dock in the boat, so next the uh, uh, prone the fishing boat. Yeah. So we asked them, 
where where we call uh, from the police or someone is there. Where are you from? So where from Vietnam? No, oh, they don't believe us. The fishermen, no. Oh. So such so, so a where we can uh, looking we looking a police for report. We arrive in Australia. So I said no. You have to make the phone call to call the police. So we asked, can you call for us? And no. So I was uh, how I do? I said uh, public phone there. I said no money. <laughs> how can do? I said, so they keep out the coin, the ten cent coin. And yeah, you gotta make the phone call. So my brother go make phone call. My brother go to make phone call. My friend is, uh, I want my friend is smoking one. He get the uh, over month no smoking. So you see the fisherman smoking. So I ask the fisherman to keep you one cigarette, and the same keep you one first. And after they show the whole back to you, yeah, you have it. <laughs> friendly country, friendly people. We come with the right country now. <laughs> I was stay in the boat for uh, first two nights. Because when we arrived, was one year after Cyclone Tracy. Not many house or accommodation can do in Darwin. First place we went is uh, Singapore. It's uh, owned by the Catholic Church. And then from the immigration asked them to help us to find somewhere to live. They got the accommodation there. The room for us was five or stay, and the kitchen. And they put all the food. They got chicken, veggie, potato, cooking gear, everything in the room for us already. Yeah, for, for three days. Enough for us for eating three, three days. But after three days, we go back to the boat to bring some more food. Because the church asked us, well, they need something to keep our no. So we're bringing for you some more. But we don't want to stay up. People always help us so much already. We don't want to get trouble all the time. So we try to keep calm, keep, we do after ourselves. And after about a week, everyone get the job. So we get money, we can go to buy ourselves, we can look after ourselves. Yeah, but we need them to get other accommodation for, then get out for three months, stay there for three months. Yeah. After we coming, it's about four months, second refugee boat coming. Our boat 20 meter for five people, and second one 80 meter for I think about 34 people. 80 meter smaller, more people, and the government. Oh. And the third one, another month later, uh, 80 meter for 54 people. After that, keep coming more boat people coming in. First job, I work in the building construction. And because the building construction, they don't need to speak much English. Because uh, short of labor in Darwin during that time. So every time you change the job, you get more money. You change the job, new job, you get more money. On construction side, a lot of people see you work hard or something. They can come and ask you. But when you ask you, they, speak, they, they can't speak much English too because they speak Greek. Or Korean, they can't speak much English, so they only point us, point the what, one round, what? in one hour, how much, and we said one hour, two dollar, that is it, three dollar, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so all 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 uh, you by the body language. <laughs> On the March 1970, I start get the, my friend tell me get a job in the prawn factory. Yeah, so I go in there. And during that time, the prawn factory means 70% of the worker there is from East Timor, Chinese East Timor. So we can speak the same language inside and more happy if one there. Less money, but better job. So I go working there for nearly nine years. I met my wife with a friend of mine in Timorese too. Uh, we work in one factory together and we go out to eat and make friends together. Yeah. We go to see the movie and go out all together, big group all the time, all the, the day. Because we're all the time there's no Vietnamese community in Darwin. 
on the Timorese community in Darwin, so I always meet with the Timorese people. Yeah, because they speak Chinese, I can speak Chinese with them, so, so I do the friend with them, so we know together. I was proud because 1979, I got Australian citizen already. After three years arrival, I got Australian citizen, and I got a passport, and I go back to Thailand straight away to see my family. So I go in the refugee camp to see my mother, my family in the refugee camp. A lot of Vietnamese asked, oh, how you can get an Australian passport already? We still refugee camp, in the refugee camp. No future yet, but you already Australian citizen, so yeah, because we lucky I go really early. Completely different the new life for us. First thing for us, language, because we can't speak English. Go everywhere, can't do, like we have money, I can't go in the bus, because I can't speak the bus of where you go, how I know where I go. And when I walk in the street side, a lot of car pull out, ask, get out of the lift. But we, we afraid to go in the car because we can't say where we go, because I can't speak English. So a lot of problem for us, and first thing for us to see are lots of white people in the country because it never happened before. So language, culture, food, all different for us. Like you now come here, Darwin, uh, you want to buy one bottle of fish sauce, you can't buy. No way, no one can sell that one. Soy sauce, hard to buy soy sauce too. <laughs> So, the, so you ask me, you go back to Vietnam yet? I said, no. I said, Vietnam start open in 1988. You should go back. A lot changed for you to go back. So no, I go back. I refugee, I go back. My wife kept me to jail. So, no, government not do it. So when you go back to Vietnam, you send me the letter to invite me back to Vietnam. So you take the letter, no one give you trouble. I guarantee you. Uh, so, okay, so the first time I go back to Vietnam, I go to Hanoi first. And he picked me up on the airport and dropped me, stay in Calumet Guest House and said, sit, sit up. I said, guarantee you, no worry. June 91, Vietnam still very really poor. All the bicycles, no, no motorbike, no many motorbike like now. All bicycles, I see, we should do something. So to do the good life for them. So the government said, first thing, tourists. We need some tourists back. So I asked me to do the travel agent, to do a tourist. So the government said, I can help you for Vietnam, in tour in Vietnam. So you go back to Australia, open the travel agent. Why don't have the country? I want the Vietnam country, like people say, we talk, where you come from, Vietnamese, oh, refugee. It's no good for us. Oh, we think the poor refugee country, both people. I want the Vietnam people, oh, good country. People like it like now. So we say, where you come from, Vietnam? Oh, good, I like, I like Vietnam. So good for us too. So I think it's better I come back to Vietnam to what I can do, what I can help, what I can do for the country. I stay in Australia longer I stay in Vietnam. But Australia, I live in Australia is 30, 38 years. Yeah, this is where I, where I go up, everything in Australia. So Australia is my hometown now. Australia, multi-cultural country, we meet together. So like my family now, I Chinese born in Vietnam, I get a Vietnam background. My wife Chinese born in East Timor. My kids born here in Australia. I teach all my kids. Background is Vietnamese, Chinese. But everything Australia first. Australia is your country.